It's innovative in philanthropy to convene and collaborate. Felicia Davis, I'm President and CEO of Chicago Foundation for Women. Chicago Foundation for Women, we're a community foundation. We raise money and invest those resources into organizations that are helping women with some of the most difficult problems, uh, economic insecurity, freedom from gender-based violence, and access to healthcare and healthcare information. Philanthropy to me, or working at the foundation, is the opportunity to really be uber-focused on those issues that affect women and girls in our communities, and really looking at all of those challenges through a gender equity lens and making investments, raising money, raising capital, and making investments in those organizations that are really doing promising practice and good work in our communities. So the biggest challenge I faced in, in my current role would be um, related to uh, the Inglewood Women's Initiative and the project for which we've won the Chicago Innovation Award. I would say we, um, as a foundation, we had some research and we had some data about the community, um, the community of Inglewood, and the data was off. What we found is that 76% of the women were either making below $10,000 or unemployed, but the data that was available to us suggested that the income level was around $22,000. That's a big gap. Um, and so consequently, we had to um, redesign our strategies for addressing um, this gap, but also putting the right partners in place so that we could support these women more holistically. And we have convened 10 nonprofit organizations. These are 10 different organizations, each with their own mission, each with their own technology platforms, each with their own way of, of dealing. But each of them um, works every single day in a critical area that really can impact a woman's life. And so whether that's a housing partner or someone who helps with um, re-entry or someone who provides mental health services or domestic violence services. So it's innovative in philanthropy to convene and collaborate. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but collaboration is innovative. Um, and that we bring these 10 partners together and the goal is to provide all of these services holistically to a woman and her family. But women um, come in and out or pick these services as they need them. And the goal is over five years to move these women over an income of $40,000. So I think the best um, advice I have been given is not to let perfect be the enemy of good. There is a tendency in philanthropy to um, hedge bets and to wait on the sidelines and often sometimes to really bet on the sure thing. And what we really need more of in our communities are our risk takers, foundations who are willing to invest and in small organizations who have promising practice, who may not have three years of audited financials or a study by one of the big university partners, but you can see in their work that they are impacting the issue area that they're focused on. At Chicago Foundation for Women, we are relentless about pursuing gender equity. We work every single day to think about policies and practices um, and procedures that can help advance women at every level. Um, that may be for ourselves as a foundation, we're really intentional about who we hire and partner with. Um, for the money that we spend in our operations, we really target that spend and try to spend that with women-owned businesses and minority-owned businesses. We also push for um, that in other organizations. And so as you think about the work that we do with either it's a corporate level or also um, with government. So we're pushing for policy that makes it um, possible for a woman and her family to thrive. And so whether that's having paid time off as a mandate legislatively from the state and federal level, state level and um, from the city, whether that's having protections in place against uh, sexual harassment, whether that's having um, um, education um, programs and schools that teach about sex education and reduce the harm from gender-based violence for women and girls. And so in everything that we do, in every lens, when we're thinking about a policy or an initiative, the first question that we asked ourselves is how does that impact from a gender equity lens? And what we find is that Often we are the only people um, who are really looking at it from, from that lens. And we found that when you look at something more holistically, and if women are being benefited, then everyone will also benefit from those changes as well.